I thought I'd take a few minutes to show you guys how to use uh, EVGA Precision X1 to overclock your graphics card. It's very similar to MSI Afterburner in most respects, but there are some things that are uh, unique to X1, uh, especially if you have an EVGA graphics card. I have a uh, 2080 Ti uh, XC2 Ultra. I'm running the FTW3 Ultra firmware on it right now, but just because it has a higher power limit. But uh, the in principle, everything works the same. So we're going to run Heaven Benchmark and using the extreme de uh, default in a window so we can actually see what's going on here as I demonstrate this for you. So um, if you use the left and right arrows that are in the lower section of uh, the Precision X1 window, you'll uh, click to the right and you'll find this for voltage frequency curve tuner and if you click on the dots here you'll see that there's a voltage value at the bottom and a frequency at the right and when you move that it applies there's not a way to press l and lock the voltage like you can with uh, msi afterburner but you don't really need to do that here and i'll demonstrate why now, even though I selected 1.093 volts, you'll notice that it's showing 1050 until I move that slider to 100%. So contrary to popular belief, that voltage slider actually does work. See, if I put it at zero, the voltage drops down to 1050. If I slide it to 100%, it jumps back up to uh, 1094 millivolts. So we're going to adjust our power limit up all the way and click apply. And so we're going to bump our memory up from 14 gigahertz to 16 gigahertz. That's how that works. You just put in that offset there. So you grab these dots that corresponds with the voltage you want, the frequency you want. Voltage is at the bottom, frequency is at the right and you move that dot to where you want it and click apply and you'll see that that corresponds with 1.094 volts or 1094 millivolts however you want to look at it and the frequency is at 2175 so if we move it up or down it'll stay at that voltage and increase the frequency. So we got 2205 there. We actually had to overshoot to like 2213 to get the 2205 because the voltage or the frequency is in like 13 megahertz steps. So you usually have to go a little bit higher than the frequency you want. We'll put that slider all the way to the right for 124% on our power limit and we can see that it's just clipping right along so that's how that works guys pretty simple so thanks for watching my video i hope you found it informative and uh, take care guys god bless